Well, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the Arizona Homestead Project. As you may notice, we're sitting on a concrete pad here. So I've got a great video coming up for you today. We're going to show you how we got here. We finally did get the pad uh, poured with help from Jill and also my good friend Frank here. And uh, let's get to the video. Something's changed since the last time I talked to you and we were going to turn this into a uh, equipment shed, shop. Well, we decided to make this the house. Well, as you can see behind me, we've already got one of the doors off. Um, in a couple weeks, I'll have a video out. We're getting ready to do some concrete on the ground, pour the pad in between. We just thought we'd share with you how we took the door off. We did one just in case we killed ourselves. We didn't have to put that on, uh, on YouTube. I got my good neighbor here, Frank. He's got some property over there. On the other side of us, how's it going, Frank? It's going well. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> so, without any further ado, let's get on it, huh? All right. All right. out the way that's in all likelihood well uh, what's gonna happen <laughs> well we'd like it to be more than you know we'd like it to be a little more controlled a, a little less spectacular because that was right on my to see where it hit. <laughs> Perfect. Well, that was uneventful. We Bet you guys were hoping something bad would happen, huh? No, just something to give you a little entertainment. All right, well, for the most part, I got the pad all set up. Gonna be digging some trenches tomorrow for the footings. But this is all the way along the side. Got that all done. Cleared this little path out. Made it so it actually wraps all the way around. I mean, there's still a little bit of work to do, but uh, yeah, that's we're getting there. You know, I just gotta. I'm trying to get all my stuff ready for forming and whatnot. So. First little footer dug there. This is we marked the ground where the trench is going to go. Memo's all set up, ready to go. We're getting ready to dig the footers on this side. All right. Well, I got all the forming done. I'm gonna clean out these trenches a little bit, get them tamped down. But it'll be a better look at what I did here in the back. The back fill them a little so they don't blow out when we put the concrete down. And uh, almost time to start tying rebar. Just gotta just gotta level this out a little bit better. This here I don't know if you can see it is a little bit of a just kind of a that's gonna be sort of a footer for where the wall goes across here. I'm filming. 
So how are you feeling this morning, Warren? Nervous. Nervous? I haven't said anything that's really going to happen. What's really going to happen? This morning. What's going to happen at 6 o'clock? Well, the, <laughs> the concrete finishing guys are going to oh, be here. Oh, he told you what the big surprise is. Um, 7 o'clock, the trucks are going to be here pouring concrete. Yay. Are you excited? Well, I gotta get back to work. Yes, I'm excited. Oh, good. I can't wait for it to be done. I'm hurting everywhere. <laughs> I bet. What we're doing right here is, um, since we've got such a long stretch between the two containers, is trying to set the grade with the um, laser level, and that came as a suggestion from Mr. David O'Dell from O'Dell's Complete Concrete. So from here on out, it was just more of the same. The finishing guys did their floating, troweling, and then eventually ended up on knee boards and doing um, hard troweling. And uh, that was it. Came out beautiful, as you will see. Holy shit, we got concrete. All right, so this is the finished product. What do you think, Jill? It looks awesome. 
uh, Frank there had a lot to do with it. Boy, I tell you, that is one hard working guy. Every time I tried to jump in to do something, Frank was a step and a half ahead of me. I didn't get to get anything done. He did it all. That's what friends are for. <laughs> right on. <laughs> so you can see I've already pulled all the forms, backfilled it, and made a nice transition here between the container and the concrete. So this little suction right here that you see is going to be like a little 10 by 10 bump out for our pantry and what you're looking at right there is going to be like the kitchen area front door is going to be right over here somewhere living room is going to be back there all of this uh, space right here from that control joint over to the end that's going to be patio area but all in all, I think they did a really good job. They brushed the uh, concrete in the patio area. You're probably not going to be able to see that in the video. And then everything up here has been hard troweled because this is actually going to be our finished floor. We'll end up uh, acid staining that and sealing it. Pick 943.7. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the Arizona Homestead Project in the shipping container build number six. I'd like to give a special shout out to Jim from the Green Dream Project for making all the video possible. I just, you just get too busy to do any editing, huh, Frank? That's absolutely Or true. any shooting. So ask Jim to come out. I really appreciate you, Jim. As usual, you and Jessica, we love you. Thank you very much. Also to David Odell from Odell's uh, Concrete, Complete Concrete. Um, he uh, collaborated with me a little bit on the phone to uh, give me some ideas like doing the uh, laser level for getting the pad set up. I've also watched a ton of his videos, learned a lot from that. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Frank over here, my neighbor. Also to my lovely girlfriend here for making <laughs> all this possible and all the little ways you do. And uh, also to Maddox for the concrete. And those guys are, if you're down here in the Douglas area, um, they're really willing to work with you. They'll talk to you. I, ha I haven't met anybody down here in Douglas that I haven't liked so far. Everybody's friendly. Well, we appreciate you watching. Come back soon. See you all soon.